5 new key features in shortcut version 25.05.11 and 3 minor ones as well. If you're new to my channel, my name is James and I make reviews and tutorials on software to help you be more productive. So let's dive in. The first new feature is called Alpha Stroke and you use it something like this. I have my text here on my timeline above and I have actually put an alpha stroke there and when I play, you will see something like this. So the word is actually strobing. To use this, just apply the alpha stroke filter where you want anything to have a strobe effect and just adjust the interval over here. Right? So I'm just going to hide this for now. To create a freeze frame effect, Select the clip that you want, move your playhead to the position where you want the freeze frame to happen. Let's say somewhere here, as you can see for the motorcyclist, right click and click on freeze frame and you have a freeze frame being generated. You can adjust the length of the freeze frame by adjusting this section here, just like you would adjust any normal video clip. This is a minor new feature in Shortcut. So if you go to the playlist, I have three items here and you can see there are three items on my playlist. If I were to remove say one of it, so now this goes to two items. Next there's a new generator submenu at the top and on the timeline. Here this new generator over here used to be file placed under uh, open file. So now you can generate color text using this menu here. or you can also create it using this. Click on new generator and you have the choice of say, let's put a color bars. You can say, all right. And you have this sort of color bars there. Okay. And you can change it say to Philips, something like this. It's a minor change, but will help in making your video so much smoother. Let's say you want to stabilize this video clip. Let's add a stabilize. Uh, or this filter, you can adjust all this. You can click analyze to use this filter. However, after the analysis, you make some changes. You say you want to adjust some of the shakiness or accuracy. Once you are done, go to file and go to rerun filter analysis and shortcut will reanalyze the file. So you end up with one uh, STAB file rather than two. This is just more convenient to use. Convo and edit friendly. So this is a minor change as well. So if you have file, open file, and I want to use this one. So shortcut ask whether you want to convert this to an edit friendly file. So the change here now is uh, you tell you that if you select the best or the better uh, option, your file size will be big or huge. Okay, so let's just cancel that. So these are some minor changes. Finally, one other change is this preview scaling. If you go to settings and go to uh, preview scaling, now there's option for 1080p. If you have higher resolution footage and you want to just down uh, scale it down to 1080, you can do that. Uh, previously, it was up to 720. This is especially if you use a large monitor or you are, and you are using say uh, 4K video files and above. Besides these changes, there's also improvement in compositing in the obscure with blur at mosaic filter. So let's just uh, select this. Let's add a filter, uh, the obscure uh, with blur or mosaic filter. It is better at obscuring details that you want to obs obscure. There's other minor fixes as well that you can check it out on the shortcut website. I hope you have learned something from this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and check out what's on the screen for more shortcut tips.